In class, we introduced the concept of the derivative. We showed that formally, this is defined as the limit of slopes of secant lines called difference quotients, or more precisely, the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. We explained how in words we can define the derivative of f, denoted f prime of x, as a function which gives us the slope of the tangent line of f at x. This is a geometric picture, or equivalently, we can say it is the function which gives us the instantaneous rate of change of f at x. The derivative is such an important concept that I wanted to sketch what we did in class again for a different function, and then zoom in at that tangent line at a point and show how it is the best approximation of f near that point, and then at the end show you some animations of this process. So let's sketch the graph of a function y equals fx in the Cartesian plane. I'm going to take a copy of it because we will need to take a limit as h approaches 0 from the right and also from the left. We want to get an idea of what f prime of a is. Let's take an arbitrary point on the x-axis a. This gives us a value f a and the point on the graph a f a. First, let's let h approach 0 from the left, meaning we are taking h to be negative. And if h is negative, a plus h is to the left of a. And as h approaches 0, we get a sequence of secant lines going through the green point a f a. Then as h approaches 0, these secant lines are approaching the tangent line, given in red, which has slope as the limit of the slopes of the secant lines. The slope of a secant line is delta y over delta x, where delta y is the change in y, which is f of a plus h minus f of a. Here is delta y of the first secant line we drew. And here is delta x, the change in x, which is a plus h minus a, giving us just h. Then the slope of the tangent line is the limit of these difference quotients. And by definition, this should be f prime of a. But we technically are not done yet because we only calculated the limit from the left in this picture. Remember that a limit needs to be checked from the left as well as the right. This means we are taking h to be positive. Then a plus h is to the right of a, and as h approaches 0, we get a sequence of secant lines approaching the same tangent line. We can zoom in around our point a f a, look at the neighborhood around it, we see that the red tangent line is a pretty good approximation of f at x equals a. And we talked about in class how the tangent line is the best linear approximation of a function near the point of tangency. By zooming into a smaller neighborhood, we see that the difference between f and the tangent line becomes smaller and smaller. And then since rate is associated to slope and slopes are associated to lines, the best rate that we can assign at that point a is the slope of the tangent line. And that's why we call it the instantaneous rate at a. Notice that the slope of the tangent line of f at a is negative. Therefore, f prime of a must be negative. And we will look more at what the sign of the derivative of f tells us about the shape of f next time. But I want to end this video by showing you some animations of the construction of the tangent lines from secant lines. So here's a function f. We are looking at the point 1, f of 1, given by the black dot. The red dot is a plus h, where here h is negative. Then the line connecting the two points is a secant line, and as h approaches 0, our secant lines approach the tangent line, which is given here. Let's look at it again. We are approaching from the left. The slopes of these secant lines approach the slope of the tangent line. We need to check it from the right, meaning h should be positive as well. And as h approaches 0, notice that in this example we initially get worse approximations for the instantaneous rate of change of f at x equals 1. But eventually, and that's the crucial point for limits, eventually when h is small enough, we get better and better approximations. And right here, we correct and approach the tangent line, which is given here. Let's see this one more time. 
the slopes of the secant lines approach the slope of the tangent line, which is f prime of one. Now here's another function. The red lines are the tangent line at three, one. You can see how the limits from the left and the right both approach the tangent line. So that's all for today. Next time, we'll look at what the derivative of a function tells us about the function, and then how to sketch the graph of a derivative.